don't get it, do you? You don't know how I feel. You're just some happy, clappy Christian with no clue. I read the book of Job. Fun read. Made me even more depressed. This is why I got out of church. Because it's full of people like you. Did you read the whole thing? No. Well, if you had, you'd have seen that he gets it all back at the end, even more than he had in the first place. And do you know how that happens? He wins a lot of? <laughs> no. It's because he begins to thank God for his life. Yeah. Well, I don't have much to thank God for right now. I made a terrible mistake. One that I regret more than anything. Daniel, wait! You're selling our place? You haven't earned a cent in 12 months. Where's all the clients? Take a seat. Welcome to Jimmy Town. Population two bedrooms. You know, forgiveness is not always about forgiving those that do us wrong. Sometimes it starts with forgiving ourselves. In 2013, um, my wife discovered a lump on her chest. Six months later, she was gone. I was mad at God. I was angry at the world. I was angry at those couples whose wives didn't die, who had families, whereas I had nothing. And I reached a crossroad in my life where I realized I had to choose. I could keep going that way or I could change direction. I realized that I had to look for the small good things in my life. I had to dig deep from inside my pain to find them. Yes, everyone suffers in this life, and some people more than others. But that's life. That's what makes life what it is. And even in that pain, there are good moments. And if you let them slip by, then you're letting life slip by. You need to learn to thank God. Because this, yeah, even this, is part of the plan. Saving my marriage. Come on, one more step, come on. And another one. And another one. Run! 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 Run!